It must have been so much fun. Yes, really. Great time, yeah. All right. I'll start with you. Sure. Hi, Hi, I'm Kyla Young. I play one of the women in the conspiracy. Her name's Janice Trent, and she's kind of the troublemaker of the group. Are you stoned all the time? Is that why yes, you're... Yes, all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> she is definitely in it to smoke the weed. <laughs> well, you know, my, my cameraman here said, well, wow, that's not a fun way to, smoke, to you know, be locked up to have to smoke weed. Exactly, and that's kind days. of the problem we come across, you know. It's that smoking weed recreationally is fun, but when it's forced down your throat, it can lead to some unfortunate outcomes. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> you are? I'm Craig Price, the director and writer of the film. Oh, you wrote this? Yes, I did. It's based on a real government? Yeah, it's based on a true story of a study that happened in 1972 that I came across um, in some archival uh, uh, reviews. And it's actually, I have met some of the real women when I wrote it, so there was a very insightful, vivid images of what it was really like then. And it started out like a hippie camp. They were so excited to do it. But because of the, be, the, the being confined and for 98 days and increasing the levels of THC, it starts off as a comedy, believe it or not, but there's a lot of mood shifts and things. And a lot of issues and themes from the early 70s that people didn't realize happened. But now, some of those things are still going on, so it's quite interesting. This is in the early 70s, I think. 1972, this? period piece. Very challenging to do <laughs> Period piece, film. that's but, so funny. But, but, but it looks, we're so excited with the results. The hair, the makeup, the wardrobes, the locations, it's fabulous. Oh, how much fun. And let me guess, you smoke a little pot? I smoke a little bit of pot. <laughs> and your first and last name is? So I'm Morgan Cohan. I play Marissa, um, one of the women in the experiment as well. Um, she's a very driven woman, but while she's in there, someone may catch her eye, so she gets a little sidetracked, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> very, very interesting. I love the cliffhangers, by the way, because it makes the people watching more interested in going to see the film. Right? <laughs> yeah. And you? I'm Marie Ward, and I play Nurse Alice Jones, and I am the nurse that administers the marijuana to the girls throughout the experiment and uh, kind of looks after them in a strange way, I guess you could say. Are you smoking on the side? I'm not smoking on the side. You're the no, only sober straight. person no, like no. in the whole building? I would say yes, probably. Oh, yes, my that's a good point. So your perspective of the whole thing must be really very surreal. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to keep, you know, everybody in, in line. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> successfully or unsuccessfully. Oh, my gosh. We so give her a run for her money. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that's you do. Sure. certainly do. Oh, my gosh. Wow, what a clever concept. How much fun. Yeah, it was fascinating to do and learn about it. And just being able to work with such a lovely group of young women, especially in this day and age, it was it was really inspiring for all of us. Who wants to tell me sort of the upshot of what happened to everybody? The upshot? Yeah, like, like when you got them. out. Well, everybody kind of had their own story once they left out. None, okay. of our, none of our characters are based on one woman in specific. They're all kind of amalgamations of the women who actually went through the story. Oh, wonderful. So it was the kind of night that we all got to put our own stamp Spin on, on the yeah. character. Yeah. Um, but Within the article that the movie is based on, they do talk about these women afterwards. Some never smoked weed again. Some really? were really upset that they went through this experiment because of the repercussions that they faced after. And then there are like a couple of the women who still have pot brownies every couple of days to help with their <laughs> arthritis. <laughs> so, arthritis, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh my so gosh. each woman kind of went their own way afterwards. Oh, that's fascinating. But interestingly enough... From it, your perspective, yes. Well, How did it Well, interestingly enough, out? it yeah. wasn't a gateway drug, which is what they were trying to oh, no. prove. Oh. So at oh. the time, it was LSD and heroin that they were concerned about. So the idea was that if young women or men were indulging in this, that it would be surely a gateway drug to harder substances. I and, heard that. I remember hearing and, that. Yeah. yeah, here we are, you know, many, many years later, and it's been proven that it clearly isn't. There doesn't seem to be a correlation between the two at all. You're either sort of sort of stick to marijuana or you are into other things but in fact i think it's more of a medicine than anything right now yeah yes. right? i think which has been proven by its legalization you know canada wide and its uh, decriminalization in a lot of places in the states as well it can be a helpful tool for you if you have anxiety or psd or arthritis, or arthritis <laughs> exactly <laughs> so who knows what time and where it's showing next tomorrow it's uh i think the metro tomorrow at 4 20. Okay. Which is a good, yeah. Very funny. <laughs> Sometimes I got to go get it because I didn't get that. You didn't. But 420 oh tomorrow <laughs> is the U.S. premiere of the film, and we're really excited about the that. U.S. premiere. Yep, the U.S. Wonderful. premiere, and uh, we think it's a fabulous festival. That's why we chose to do it here. Thank you for coming, and thank Great. you for speaking with thank me. You. Congratulations. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.